What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. Last episode, we finished up episode two, and now we're starting episode three. It's been a little while. Actually, it doesn't feel like it's Our been very long. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My oh, name God, is that out. Well, Marissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh, my God. Don't look! I said don't look in the last episode, but no, you just had to look at the bloody bed. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Well, that's really weird. So, actually, it doesn't feel like last episode. Like, I don't feel like I played it that long ago, but... I mean, here we go. Play right here now. With my revelation of Crane. Even though it's probably not him, to be honest. Um, fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. <laughs> oh, now you, you, you know a person. You have to tell her. I know. Uh-oh. Is she gonna be What's gone? What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, oh. other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Actually, Think he's probably Crane? not. <laughs> How do you know? I just clicked on instinct there. Shit! Crane's been... Uh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's so going she is. to be fine. Perverted little fucker might be after snow. I need to find her right now. Well, this now. is an interesting okay, start to an episode. It's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. Jesus. They were on their way out. God dang it, beauty. Seriously? Are you Maybe? drinking? Who cares? Does it matter? Wait. I'm talking about a killer here. Her first thing to be like, hey, are you drinking? Beast, you can't be drinking. That's bad what? for you. Snow's. <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Uh oh. Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, well, she has to know. Before it's raping time for Crane, she has to know. <laughs> I would not risk not telling her that. I mean, seriously, we have to tell her. Here we go. The Buckingham Bridge. 10.28 p.m. How very... Not 10.30 like. Notice hard hats beyond this point or something. Oh, boy. Whoa. This looks very... Uh-oh. Is that snow? That sounds like snow. Is it snow? If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. It is People snow. People she trusted and cared for. Is I Crane won't here? Um, offend you by claiming one day that we don't want to interrupt the pain her. of losing Lily will ever subside. I mean, unless Crane is like literally well right there, but she's not. It will never subside. But I also know that. That the memory of Lily will sustain as well. <laughs> Is that a helmet? Yeah. <laughs> and it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. Chug it! And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories. I'll miss worrying about she you. Be I'll stubborn miss our fights. And patient, I'll miss you. Rash and thoughtful. Holly. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for... Um, now you will dream. never die from indifference all, or lead a tedious life. Goodbye, sweetheart. 
dearly Thanks for loved everything. her friends and family. Vivian. I think it's Vivian. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from you were a what big, I've been told, bright, shining star I know in my in heart that she would have liked town. to be here tonight. And I miss you already. And now we'll have our Ren. Oh, Moment I'm sure you do, Miss. Miss thank her, Gren. Oh, she said thank you. Is she done? I think that might mean she's done. It's just that around awkward times until we go talk to her. Oh, crap! Oh, phew. Huh. Oh, that scared me. I wanted to read the Book of Fables. I pressed escape, but the it like got really weird and glitched out. Where's my mouse? My mouse is gone. That's not good. Uh, oh, here we go. Hello? The troll funeral writes... The gaze of the Great Mother, death is always upon us. Beneath her affectionate eye, we fight our battles. We nurse our wounds, we shoot, shout our victories, uh, we endure our sorrows, and when we fall, she is there. Her embrace is the silence of the mountain and the heavy peace of the stone. Approximate, approximately translated, a troll funeral is a sacred ritual passed down by oral traditions from the troll mother to son. It begins at the sun at sunset with the cremation of the car cairn? A small piece of stones represent the main generations of trolls that have traveled and died before them. The foundation upon the living stand. The weapons are divided amongst the trolls' closest comrades, and the body and the rest of their possessions are burned. And through each viewer must speak to the life of the lost. The eulogies candor would make a Monday blush. Okay, now- Oh, I had it! My mouse is gone for some reason. I don't know where the heck- Come back, mouse! I miss you! Uh-oh. Alright. Now we gotta go resume. There we go. Is my mouse gonna be back now? Bigby, is everything okay? Oh, uh, no, no. Not you. <clears throat> Holly, it's. He wasn't fucking invited. That's nice. Holly, Snow's wait. in danger. He has no right to be here. <laughs> and it's not a rite of passage. What he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. Yes, I did. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. I did? After what? After you lie? After you promise me? Pro Holly, wait, what? Wait, that was Crane. Just Crane. He oh! disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Well, shit, sucker. I'm telling you the truth. Don't. I didn't know this. Him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about Okay, this. well, we might as well start talking Crane's about a it. Crane's fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Ha! Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. I feel like Gren's gonna be and someone I'm you hate sure at first, and then a very good reason for being. Here. He becomes a good alley this in the one end. This isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Um, Everything okay? Nope, not at all. Might as well say right here I think now. I know who murdered your sister. Who? Uh -huh. Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. No, you don't. I know, I'm not I, telling you. I know, but. This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care yeah, about I'll procedure. Just, I'll just say it. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Maybe okay, this is a bad idea. <laughs> it's probably a really Wait, bad idea. Me and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, It's probably not going to be him, though. I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, it's but- It's probably a red herring let Crane. let us do our jobs first. Red herring Crane. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. If the blonde and one is the Vivian. the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Yeah. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue. This girl reminds me of Molly this from The Walking Dead. total fucking bullshit. The game, of course. Let's Telltale's go, game. Let's go, Holly. Let's go, Holly! Let's it's go! It's your turn to talk. Oh, God. Why are they wearing, like, those scanty outfits to a funeral? Isn't that not pretty rude? Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. Well, believe it. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Ha 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 ha. 
Um, Maybe. Snow, we should Crane's tell him. completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... No. Just listen to me for a second. No. I, I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. That's pretty he, creepy. He plays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. It's possible someone I else was really glamoured as Crane, I'm right? I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. Yeah, too I late, thought, we're picturing uh, it. I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Crane's probably because framing please, himself, Biggie, though. Don't confuse things. Crane Deposing took pictures. Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Yeah! Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. She has to know. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to I talk. I mean, even if it's not Crane... isn't the place. On the off chance that it Snow? is Crane, she has Marissa? to know what I found. What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? So what are they burning there for bodies gone? Just her Two minutes. clothes and armor? I don't armor? mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Okay. No, I get it. Take your time. Yep. It won't take long. I'm being nice. You can really see the transition of Big B's options getting nicer and nicer as the episodes go on. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yes, I did. Uh, Lily yeah. was killed there. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Yep. I lost it just oh. catch up. <laughs> oh, I'm this is awkward. Sorry. Nerissa. Those ribbons yeah. remind me of that story where Coming. a woman had like it was like a kid story where a woman had a bandit or not really a bandage, but something wrapped around her neck like that. And then she had it all her life until when she was on her deathbed. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how, how do these guys sneak up behind me? First thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? You're gonna regret this. Don't get a run, but it won't do any good. <laughs> Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll oh, snip to the chase snap. for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. How do and they know this? We have an interest in that particular boy. It would have so to be Beast. Crane alone, and or Beauty. Leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? Uh-oh. No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. Oh, hell no! So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Huh? Uh... uh speak your mind. Fastly now. Just Fastly don't now. hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Yep, Always I'm not saying yes. Do things the fun way. Ladies, yep. gentlemen, I might regret that. <laughs> please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What do you think happening? is going on? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go uh -oh. as smoothly as planned. This is not good. What is he talking about? Um, Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Can we Not grab both these guns? Any easier. <laughs> Brandon, Lily. What did I? Or Holly, I mean. What did I say? Holly. You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move! Uh, it's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just Oh, shit! Hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly, you better not die! Holly. Oh, God. Holly. I got it, dumb! Uh, ha, 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 ha! Ha! I was not prepared! I was not prepared. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus! Criminy trinkets! Good lord! Everyone's shot dead! It's oh, crap. I think Holly's dead. I think Holly's dead. She seems dead to me. Is she dead? She's dead. Well, that was weird. Anyway, sorry I was telling you, the girl with the bandit shirt, the bow around her neck, she was on her deathbed and she finally asked her to tell her husband, do you want to know what's under this ribbon? And then he pulled the ribbon off and her head fell off. Yep, that was the story and I remember reading that as a kid and it scared the heck out of me. It was so terrifying and scurry. Uh, but that's, that's what those ribbons around the, the hooker's necks remind me of. So, uh, police death. <laughs> That's, well, I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting her to die, so like, just like that, really. Alice and Snow, though. <laughs> and Gren was shot, too. I didn't see Gren moving. Was he moving? He better be alive. I don't feel like Gren's going to be like the guy that starts off as an asshole and then turns out to be a good guy.